Hi, welcome to the Thumb Sucking Clinic. I'm Carla and I'm joined today by my friend Bridget Ingle, who is an IBCLC, International Board Trained Certified Lactation Consultant. Did yes. I get that right? Yes, very good. Oh, it's a mouthful, it but is. it's a very you're, you have a very important role. Yes. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your experience in your field. As an IBCLC, our main role is to support mothers and babies with breastfeeding. So we know about the actual lactation, which is the making of the milk, and then about the um, fine art of the actual breastfeeding itself and all of the ways in which a mother and baby can uh, do that. Fantastic. Mm. And oh my goodness, it's so important, isn't it? Like we it know is. as dental and health professionals how important breastfeeding is, mm. but to make that happen, uh, we need a lot of support and people that know it in depth, know breastfeeding in depth. Mm. So I wanted to talk to you because I see a lot of children, mm. um, but I'd like to, you to tell me what the difference is between children and adults and their skull mm. and how they develop in their mouths. Mm. And, and I see you brought a friend along. I have brought my little friend. And I think to start off with, it's very obvious that they're not the same size at all. Uh, but we do say that babies and infants are not small adults. So we can't treat them just as if they're a shrunken version of this mm -hmm. because there are some very obvious things that are, are different. They're very different, aren't they? Yes, not just in the size, but even in the proportions uh, are very different. Uh, and an infant's bony uh, structure is still very soft and delicate. So we're always very careful with handling uh, newborns in particular and young babies, very much so. Yes, right. They've got like soft spot, a soft spot on their head. Yes. I can see there's a little spot here. On yes, your... that's right. That's exactly right. And if we look at uh, a baby's here, their little facial structures, you'll see that the proportions are different. Right. Um, you can see the little baby teeth in yes. the gum there um, that, are, that aren't erupted yet. That's, that's exactly right. And... Uh, when a mother and a father looks inside the mouth, they might see little bumps along the gum that they actually think are, are teeth. Yes. Uh, but that's actually a normal formation. Right. Um, but the teeth are up in there, aren't they? Yes, indeed. Mm. It takes until they're at least four to six months usually. Mm. Sometimes babies will have teeth erupt unexpectedly. That's not as common. Mm. So tell me what else is different about a baby's skull compared to my friend Yorick here? <laughs> uh, maybe we could talk about the nose because babies have very small noses. You might see those teensy winksy little nose holes and you wonder how the heck can they breathe, but they seem to do quite a good job of uh, breathing through that and um, warming and filtering their, their air. Mm. Another important thing for babies is obviously their mouth. And because I'm dealing in the mouth area all of the time when I'm helping with breastfeeding and we spend a lot of time looking inside the, the mouth uh, when we're helping to help um, the babies with breastfeeding. So if we look inside the mouth of a baby, not only is the space small, but the shape is often a little bit different. Mm. And all of the bones, particularly up here on the palate at the top, are very, very soft and delicate. Mm. And everything is a lot closer together than in an, inside an adult's mouth. Right, okay. Mm. And of course there's no teeth yes. for babies. They have no teeth. Uh, and the tongue fills pretty much the whole space inside the mouth. Okay. So fascinating. So obviously, as a, I'm a, my background's in dental, mm. I don't see babies, but right. I've got, you know, um, mums that might ask and friends that might have problems with their babies feeding mm. or, um, mm. you know, they're worried about something to do with their baby's mouth. Yes. This is something that you do. Yes, yes. Tell me IBC more about that. IBCLCs are uh, well trained to be able to identify the nuances inside um, babies' mouths, particularly newborns and young babies. It's one of our specialties that we do. So we're very familiar with looking inside the mouth, looking at the shape of the palate, looking at the gums, feeling the uh, muscles of the cheeks and around the lips. And it's all to do with how we can help the baby with feeding. And so um, that's one of our specialty areas and um, we love to do that. Excellent. Mm. Mm. Um, so, and for me as a dental person, um, I wouldn't want to be seeing a baby under four to six months because I want to wait for that first tooth to come in because that's right. my area of expertise. And there's a big change, isn't there, from yes. from that younger baby to an older baby, more yes. around the six month mark, isn't there? Yes, yes. Obviously, the parents notice the actual teeth coming through, and but we know then that that starts the next phase of their development uh, while they're still breastfeeding or feeding they then start to have solid food and just the introduction of solid food and 
the chewing action and moving the food around in the mouth changes the shape and the proportions inside the mouth and the gums start to look different and the spaces increase and change to allow for that food to move around. It's amazing, isn't it? Mm. It's just amazing. Thank you for joining me. I'm glad My you brought your friend. Yes. Does he have a name? What do you think we should call him? I don't know. What do you think? Put your comments down below and let me know what you think. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Bridget. My pleasure, Carla. <laughs>